Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 4 of this car dealership. Let's get started. So in the last video, you were able to add in interior walls and then we added doors already and then some furniture. We also added the garage door and aligned them all together. Here, I'm just gonna select that again. And as I remember, we have a garage. We need to add a garage store right here for the uh, equipment storage, uh, and also we're gonna add in more later on. Uh, for now, um, I'm just going to add all of this. Uh, I want to make sure that this is um, all these walls right here from the interior should be up to level two only. I made a mistake on adding all of them up to uh, level 3 so I'm just going to deselect all the doors for now select all of them all the ones that is in interior because we need to uh, set up the height properly so there uh, we could filter this actually so uncheck this furniture and then only the walls so it's a lot easier than just um, adding that so here I'm just going to undo this up to level 2 except actually this wall this wall is for level 3 so that's the only problem you can do just do this filter it uncheck click apply and then you can uncheck this one as well and then you could just change the base to end the top offset so that's the only thing that you need to do um, so right now actually this uh, we might uh, change this one as well but that's something that we're gonna do later on so here click on load again um, we need to add in a car so we could go to entourage we have a beetle car right here that is already available so why not just add it cm um, we're just going to add cars right here at the moment so that we could uh, see how things work copy that and then just add multiple cars onto this and we could just actually move them all together like that and then see how it looks there we go so at least space it out um, we could just add this one right here um, to showcase all the things that we have we have something like here car there um, we could showcase um, we could use one of this so the space bar if you have an angled um, anything angled you could use that actually so click that and then we could just drag it from here we could showcase that select CS um, different angles again we could have it right here right there so different car layouts I'm just using the angle that they have here in the car and using that to play around and using my space bar to just move it So now here we could just select this wall again this is up to level 2 CS and I'm just going to close this up we could just move this one right about here and then put in a garage door as well CS 
here, a garage door there, and a garage door. So we could just have it like that. We need to add some doors right here, CS, add door for the washrooms. There we go. So those are for the washroom. And then we will have some open uh, um, open space right here as well and then some bullpens right here so we'll add some desk um, let's add in the plumbing so we'll go here go here to the main um, go to plumbing architecture fixtures and then we have water closet let's add in the toilet click open CM and then let's add the toilets all together and then here as well we have one right here and then one right here And then in terms of the sink, let's add the sink. So go back here. Sink. Let's do a square vanity. CM. Let's add it right here. And then the sink right there and right here so we have enough area right there and then we're going to showcase the stairs and the offices by adding more information I believe it's much easier to just add uh, those offices so that we could show how it looks how the layout feels and those kind of stuff because by just adding this it's not it's not giving us the visual of uh, what are we doing here so might as well just add all the furnitures and then it will help us um, visualize everything uh, and then it will prepare us for the rendering part okay so we're just adding some and then here we're going to add this will be all glass obviously this is the the showroom so we could add in click on wall curtain wall and then we're going to add curtain wall all the way onto the corner right here make sure you're in the inside so you need to uh, click on spacebar and then here on this side as well we need to add all the way right here and then now you just need to go to modify cut geometry right here you need to select the wall first and then the curtain wall and then here in the corner we need to remove all these walls so we just need to overlap them and then what we need to do is just move this one all the way back just a little bit we just we don't want the wall to show up and then here we just need to move this one make sure that it's not over 
the wall. There we go. That will look nice. And everything is connected. This is just a wall. We could do a 3D to see how it looks. At least this is the look that I'm trying to uh, visualize right here. And then here is the opening. Those are openings and those are offices. So we need to add in I believe we have the table right here now. So the desk. So let's use this. This one. I believe it's it's good enough size, I believe. For the we could just change it to the student one. So right there. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one and then um, copy paste it to add on all. So click here, load family, and then go back to furniture. So go to the main furniture again, and then here let's go to seating. Let's use this executive CM on that. Let's add it right about there and then let's go back again to insert load family and add the other one the desk or we could just add this one cm and then add something like that and then copy this onto this corner so that we could just keep on copying multiple of that to this area And then here we could just add it and then rotate this 180 and then just add it right here so that's perfect and then here we need to add in some coffee area um, we could extend this one a bit. We could put this one at around 3500 instead. I want um, some spacing there. As you can see, we could clearly move this one. So, more spacing to add in the countertop, fridge, and those kind of stuff. So just a simple kitchenette, 16 right there. Um, for this, um, because this is a washroom for disabled with disability, we can add it there so that they have enough room for um, their wheelchair here so I'm just designing it like that we can add in annotate detailed line thin lines to represent the top right here and then we need to do that on the rest just a simple line just to represent that And then let's just align it there and then at the same time right here as well detail line and then for the kitchenette let's add this one and then I want to add a demolish line to indicate there's some shelvings at the top right here and then at also let's go to insert load family we're gonna add in the fridge so specialty equipment needs to be added 
um, domestic high end fridge let's add one cm let's add the fridge right here and then I don't want that label to show edit type select that edit type uncheck that and then let's add another top right here for the countertop and then right here as well to represent something at the top so at least everything is looking good we could just copy this again CO to copy and then add it right here and to this side we can do it back to back or we could just space it out properly it's an open concept anyway so they have enough space to walk around and then this one is in the middle and then we will have some um, tables around this will be for the bullpens so they will be around the area right here you could have them one right here so CO so RO actually to rotate so 90 degrees on that we could add it right here in front and then right here again so spacing just space them around so that they they don't look cramped in one area then we could just copy one of this again so we have something like that and it doesn't feel crowded as well right here um, we're gonna put something here CS table um, I'm just going to add another table beside just to represent this one is to represent um, the reception desk right here and then we could add in one more right here or, or around this area and then rotate it because the visual for for some is much better to visualize all the um, all of this that they're trying to sell CEO right here in the middle So that's looking good everything is looking proper so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below